Uh, my name is John McCarthy. I'm known as Big John McCarthy, and I'm a referee and official in the sport of mixed martial arts. Well, I got involved in the sport of mixed martial arts by my association with Horian Gracie. Uh, the very first fight was Taylor Tooley versus Gerard Gardot. And the referee, uh, a man named Jao Bejeto from Brazil, a great guy, a black belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. He understood, you know, fighting. He stopped the fight, which was something he wasn't supposed to do. I understand exactly why he did what he did, but he stopped it. He wasn't supposed to stop it. Horian wasn't happy, and so he asked me to do it. I looked at it and thought, well, you know what? It, it's you know a chance to be part of something. I really wanted to fight at the time. That was what I thought, you know, would be, you know, my part of this. And it wasn't going to happen for a while because Hoist was in there. And so I thought, yeah, I'll do it. It'll, you know, it'll be the best seat in the house. You gotta understand there's times when you see either myself or Dan will be standing in the octagon and Bruce is left and they've locked that and we're just standing there. Hey, if you get knocked out, obviously the fight is over and you lost. Yeah. <laughs> you know, in the very beginning, I, I started at UFC 2 and the very first fight that I, you know, officiated was a kid named Sean Dougherty against Scott Morris. And in the fight, you know, Sean Dougherty came out. He was a Taekwondo guy. He came out and, you know, threw a couple of, you know, nice little kicks and everything. And Scott Morris takes him down, puts him into a neck crank, and Sean Dougherty tapped out. And I, at the time, I looked at it and said, this is going to be easy. There's no problem to this. This is simple. And from, you know, a couple fights past that on, my night became a nightmare. And there was things happening that, you know, I had no control of because of the rule set and what I was supposed to do. The problem of it was, it was supposed to be that the fighters were either supposed to tap out or the corner was supposed to stop the fight. And what happens when a fighter gets hurt, you know, many times they don't even know who they are and they can't tap out. And the corner had been instructed by the fighter, don't ever throw in the towel. And so, you know, I had told the corners before, I said, you know, if your fighter is having a problem, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna point to you and tell you, watch your fighter. And so I, I did those things. And as I would say, watch your fighter. And then I would say, you know, throw your towel, throw your towel. And they would look at me and not do it. And I was stuck. I was stuck in a position where I couldn't stop the fight because the corner had not thrown in the towel or the fighter had not tapped out. And I realized that, you know what, this is a position you can't put somebody in. If you don't have the power to stop it when someone is knocked out, and that happened many times, you know, or in a position where they can get hurt, and you can't stop it, there's gonna be problems involved in the sport. And so from that very first, you know, couple of fights, it became clear that, you know what, the referee had to have more power than I had in that very first show that I did. There were times, you know, when there was that middle ground where you thought, are you gonna have to step in and do something that is outside of what, you know, Horry and Gracie wanted at the time, and there was that. You know, the, the one that most people, you know, look back on was Pat Smith against Scott Morris. Scott Morris had won his first fight, Pat Smith had won his, they meet, and in it, Scott Morris, he ends up being mounted, he ends up taking big elbows and punches, and I was screaming at his corner to throw in the towel. They took the towel and threw it into the audience and shook their heads no, and it was my yelling at them that I think Pat Smith thought, oh, he's stopping the fight, and he jumped up off of him, you know, thinking he had won, and he had, but it wasn't that I stopped it, I was screaming at his opponent's corner because of what they had done with the towel. But those are the, that was the type of situation where it was like, if I didn't stop that fight, that's where you could have had someone absolutely seriously injured for the rest of their life or possibly killed because the referee didn't have the ability to stop the fight and that was part of the problems with the sport in the beginning. Back in the early days, I mean, you know, the fighters, my wife was actually you know, one of the event coordinators for it and she would try to keep fighters on different floors because they didn't want to put people together and stuff. And there were some crazy individuals that were doing things. You know, Tank Abbott was, you know, he had his people, they, they would call up different fighters and have them, you know, hey, you need to report. They would act like they were part of, you know, Semaphore and they wanted them to come down for a photo shoot and they would do it at odd hours and, you know, middle of the night stuff and get a fighter leaving this thing, they would screw with them. You know, those kind of things happened. Those were the early days and there was altercations happening not only in the ring, but outside of the ring, which sometimes didn't help the, the people's perception of the sport, but it's all good now. <laughs>